Hello again! M-Files has plenty of solutions for keeping your documents grouped together, and I'm going to show them to you. This time, we're going to take a look at document collections and how to create and use them. Ready to go? Follow me. With document collections, you can bundle documents together as long as they are already saved in M-Files. After you've created your collection, the documents can be found through the relationship arrows and can still be filtered into views as individual documents. So basically, document collection is an extra set of metadata you can use for joining a group of documents with totally different metadata. Adding a member to a document collection is as easy as you think it is. Right-click, drag-and-drop, whatever feels like your way of working. Choosing Latest Version, the member is automatically updated when the document is modified. This is the option I use most often. For example, in my document collection for all the icons I use for these tutorial videos, I want to always find the latest ones when creating new videos. It wouldn't be the first time my colleague goes and updates them. If you choose specific version, the collection will always point to this particular version. This is the option I would be using when grouping together the exact icons I used in a specific video. Even though my colleague is making changes, a collection with specific versions would always point to the ones I used at an exact moment. Whereas adding members to a document collection is easy and simple, Removing members requires a few more steps. You can remove a member only after checking out the document collection. Oh, and don't forget to check it back in after you're done. A little bit about the permissions of the collection. The permissions of the document collection do not affect the visibility of the documents it gathers together. But you knew that already. Now, isn't this a great way of keeping your documents grouped together neatly? And there's plenty more where that came from. So go ahead and dive into the next video to see what else you can do with M-Files. I'll be waiting for you there.